copper sold as scrap is a hot commodity, which is why it's a target for thieves. In fact, the Department of Energy estimates copper theft costs the nation about $1 billion a year. Action News reporter Stacey Gawande joins us in studio. What's being done to stop copper crime in our community here? Well, Trish and Steve, they've struck again. We have just learned about a week ago that thieves stole brass drains from bathrooms at the Spring Valley Community Park. Now, as long as there is value in metal, there will be people who want to steal it and sell it. Now, we've seen a dramatic increase in the number of thefts this past year, but now there are plans in place to prevent and even catch copper thieves in the act. Street lights, county tracks, air conditioning units, railroad tracks, even statues at the Nevada Ballet Theater. Where there's copper metal, there's copper thieves. But the SA Recycling Plant has a plan. They're trying to generate an income, and we're here to try to stop them. The first stop for a thief with copper to sell is here. So General Manager Saul Haro meets once a month with law enforcement, the Water District, Nevada Energy, and even Union Pacific to offset the problem. Right now, they are on the lookout for these statues. They're not going to actually come in and bring in a statue to a recycling plant. You'll be surprised plant. what some people will try to bring in, but what we're looking for, we're looking for cut up pieces of brass. Now, if somebody were to come here with about 50 pounds of copper wire like this, it would be an immediate red flag. But this recycling facility says they know exactly what to do. We're taking your driver's license, we're taking your license plates, we're taking the description of your vehicle, we're taking the description, we're taking fingerprints. All the information that we'll need to be able to apprehend somebody that's stealing something, we go ahead and make sure we document. Metro is then immediately notified. The same goes for Morgan Plaster's Black Rock Security. It costs much more than the value of what is stolen. While it's good for his business, he says security prevention will cut copper crime. Something that detects the issue as soon as possible, something that slows down the perpetrator as much as possible, and something that allows for a response, preferably police. Now, Metro says those statues from the Nevada Ballet Theater stolen this week will be difficult for the, th the thieves to get rid of, but it has altered all, alerted all the recycling plans. If anyone has information about those statue thefts, please contact the police immediately. Reporting live in the studio, Stacey Galante, Channel 13 Action News. Stacey, thank you. Two